I am super comfortable right now and I'm just gonna pretend that these lights aren't going to make it super hot in here where I'm sweating by the end of this video but look it has hearts on it Holly hearts Holly hearts get it you get it I don't know why I keep pointing at you you're not Holly well I mean you might be if you are it's cool <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Holly and in today's video I am going to be doing my January book haul. I am so excited about this book haul because I am also including a book outlet unboxing, which I mean, I need to be on brand here. Oh, before I forget and before I begin, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for 5,000 subscribers. You guys are the reason why I create content here on booktube and I appreciate it so immensely. Our fantasy army is being built every single day and it makes me all sappy. So let's begin before I start crying. So the first book I have here is The Dwarves by Marcus Heights. Heats? One of those. You know when you walk into Barnes & Noble or whatever major bookstore that you go to and you spot a book in the distance. It's almost like love at first sight, but you're too shy, too bashful to commit to walking up to the book because, I mean, you have commitment issues. But yet, the cover of that book has never left your thoughts. For me, that was the dwarves. This hot, sexy, dirty dwarf that kind of looks like CGI, but we're going to ignore your flaws because every dwarf is beautiful. This is the first book that I have come across that actually puts dwarves in the, the center of the story and not like some second party to elves and men. Give Gimli would be so freaking proud. Speaking of Gimli, this world that this book is set in is actually being compared to Tolkien's Middle Earth. It consists of a variety of different races and divisions within those races. This book in particular follows a dwarf named Tungadil, so cute, who doesn't know anything about his heritage and he was even raised by humans, specifically a wizard named Lot. Well, Tungadil is set on an elaborate journey to reunite with his kinsmen and also possibly save his dwarven race from certain doom when all sides and all races are tested against one another in one of the largest wars that this land has ever known. The original story was actually translated from German which always has me a little worried when a book is translated to English from a different language. You just kind of have to hope that that translation is done well. A lot of mixed reviews specifically on that front but me being a fantasy reader, I am just so freaking excited to read an entire series that is just centered around dwarves. That just like fulfills my geeky heart. The next book I have here is The Borrow by Mark Smiley. Now, <laughs> buying this, I know it's not for the faint of heart. Don't judge me. You there behind that screen have your smut. I know you. And I know I'm not the only one who looked up the dirtiest scenes in Fifty Shades of Grey. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, I guess now I have my raunchy fantasies. I'm saying all of this because this book is supposed to be very sexually graphic. So if you are not into that, don't buy it. But I couldn't pass up one of my favorite adult fantasy reviewers giving this a really high rating and loving it. And it's another veteran book on my Amazon wish list. Meh, why not give it a try? And I also bought it used, so not a whole lot of strings attached here. So despite the supposed humping nature of this book, um, it's supposed to be full of a swashbuckling characters and action and adventure. We are following a band of characters as they go on a very dangerous quest to retrieve a fabled sword from the tomb of a notorious demon king, but they realize once they're following this map that it ends up being cursed, so they destroy it. Oh look, smart characters in a book for once. But then it suddenly it appears again and it causes a crap ton of complications and boners apparently. I'm actually really excited to go into this one despite all of the fair warnings from fellow reviewers. In fact, I feel like the trigger warnings for this book could make up a book all itself. I can easily handle questionable scenes and dark fantasies, so bring it on. Oh my god, I should do a reading vlog of me reading this. Would you guys enjoy that? Actually, I'm gonna put a poll up here in the corner. Just click that card and vote on if you would watch a reading vlog of me going through this book and like showing you my reactions to it because I know there is a scene in here that involves a unicorn horn and some questionable decisions with the unicorn horn. Oh my god, I just realized something. I don't like cutesy romance. So does this mean I like dirty romance? Am I a perv? I'm questioning my whole life right now. Like this video if you're a perv. Alrighty. 
So let's move on to the not so big book outlet order actually this box is ginormous um i bought seven books from book outlet but they are all very chunky books but hashtag book outlet snatched me again i don't know what it is but i feel like i have a sixth sense for when a book outlet gets a book that i really want on that site because i don't really go on there that much but all of a sudden i'm like oh my god there's a book on there that i really want and lo and behold i go on book outlet and there's three books there and then i have to fill up my cart to get the free shipping you know the pain <laughs> by the way i do have a referral link down below in the description box if you are interested Ooh. Ooh, the adult sci-fi is right on top how convenient one of my goals this year is to actually not just read sci-fi but adult sci-fi YA science fiction is not cutting it for me because the world that is set in space is like as big as Houston Texas for some reason I need more so adult here we come so the first book in my book outlet order is Simeosis by Sue Burke it sounds and looks amazing I mean this cover is so enticing to me I adore it here's the spine and here's the back as well is there anything on the naked cover nope just black but still like Oh, it's so shiny. So this book starts off with 50 colonists fleeing Earth because it is racked by warfare and they want to start a fresh new life on a planet very far away in the galaxy. After about 150 years in hibernation, they wake up to a beautiful green world below them. The planet is called Pax and it is covered in beautiful lush green vegetation, which obviously upon seeing you would think would be a good thing. But they eventually find out after a lot of death and poison that these plants are actually self-aware and they are manipulating everyone how freaking cool does that sound i am so intrigued by this unique alien point of view and i think like the biology aspect of this is going to be such a treat to learn about the next adult sci-fi that i have is a places in the darkness by chris brookmeyer my excitement level for this is through the space roof and i think you will be too once you hear the plot this is a sci-fi murder mystery History set on a space station deep in space sometime in the future and we were following two police officers one of them named Alice and another one named Nikki and they don't exactly get along very well they are both very sketchy of one another in fact Nikki likes to drink and do very unseemly things on the side and Alice is absolutely appalled by her corruptive behavior speaking of corruption the space station is full of it there are lots of gambling and prostitution and gangs running amok and it gets even worse Worse, when a body is discovered gruesomely murdered and the two police officers have to band together to find out what happens especially when the bodies keep appearing I think a thriller deep in space on this creepy freaking space station sounds fantastic totally something I'm in the mood for right now I'm kind of hoping that like these murders end up leading toward aliens and then boom book two alien invasion eh Probably not, but an alien lover can hope, right? I need to read some alien erotica. I can't be the only one who romanced Garrus in Mass Effect. The last adult fantasy I have here in this box, and it's actually a sequel to a book that I own, and that is Time Siege by Wesley Chu. The basic premise of the sci-fi is that it's set many years into the future and the earth is a toxic wasteland but there is a company called chronocom who employs people to travel back in time to retrieve important things so like technology and documents and natural resources but never people well it's a major surprise then when our protagonists end up saving a human from the 21st century and brings them into the 26th century which well causes a lot of problems i had the whole series now oh crap I have the whole series that marks me owning a completed series if you have no idea what I'm talking about I'm doing a challenge this year where I'm reading completed own series and this bumps up my number one. Oh my god I need to unhaul something how could I have done this oh my god I'm panicking okay I have to unhaul something but I'm not sure what yet um I'll give you guys an update in my January wrap-up so be on the lookout for that but I'm really excited for this one now on to the adult fantasy and that first one is city of lies by sam hawk this is an adult fantasy and it is sexy af by the way i mean look at that spine 
and that backside. This is the author's debut novel and it is the start of the Poison Wars series. This is basically a murder mystery story following a brother and sister and their worlds are turned upside down when there is an assassination of their uncle and their chancellor and they are tasked to find the killer. Yet another murder mystery added to my TBR but I am not complaining about it. One of my friends, Grimdark Dad, who I love his blog. You guys need to follow his blog and even follow him on Instagram. He loved this book, so uh, I'm very excited to go into it. I'll link his blog down below, by the way. Up next, I have The Chronicles of the Black Company by Glenn Cook. This book in particular consists of three novels that is an adult fantasy series, and I was actually really surprised by the rating of this one on Goodreads. With over 20,000 ratings, it has a 4.21. So it's very well loved and it has one of my favorite formulas to read about and that is a band of mercenaries. The story is narrated by a man named Kroger who is the black company's analyst and physician. The story is done in a diary like kind of way so Coker is writing down what he sees and what he experiences. Now what is the Black Company? Well it consists of common soldiers who are fighting for an evil mistress who is trying to rule everyone and everything. So it kind of sounds like it's evil versus evil which is totally my brand. It sounds super fun and I'm really excited to delve into it. So this is the point of my book outlet order where I just needed to get to that $35 free shipping. So these last two books are sequels, two books I haven't started yet, but I have really high hopes for. So I have Sword of the North by Luke Skull. This is the second book to The Grim Company. This is an adult fantasy trilogy, so I'm safe. I haven't bought that third book yet. The story is following a man named Cole who ever since he was a child he's always been obsessed with heroism and adventuring. Well unfortunately one day in the city he ends up getting into a brawl and he is confronted by authorities and they throw them out of the city. And even more unfortunately for him this is where corruptive magic is leaking out into the world. I've heard that the series gets better with each book so I am very happy to have the sequel on hand. And the final sequel that I have here is The Mortal Tally by Sam Sykes. This is book two to the Bring Down Heaven series which is an adult fantasy and the first one is The City Stained Red which I acquired for my birthday in December and here I am already acquiring the sequel. Yeah, this is normal. But man, these are chunky books. It's like the thickness of my head, but I love my big chunky fantasies and this one in particular sounds like an RPG. Um, we're following a man who's a mercenary and he has fellow adventurers, one of them being an elf and a wizard and a rogue and what else was there? Like a beastly dragon man and a priestess, so like D&D &D vibes for sure in this book. Look at the amazingness surrounding me right now. So that is it for my January book haul slash book outlet unboxing. I really hope you enjoyed. Tell me down below what book that you acquired this month or if you're on a book buying ban, tell me what book that you want to buy. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up because it helps me out so, so much. And don't forget to subscribe. I upload videos every single week. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Holly Hearts Books and on Twitter at Holly Nice and also on Good reads I will automatically add you as a friend and until we meet again happy reading